a cool breeze, countless beach trips, graduation, night picnics, genuine friendships, warmth, wholesome chats. Gone are the days where I spent my summers behind a screen, wasting hours upon hours scrolling through Instagram, binge watching Netflix or YouTube, dreaming for better days like this. I actually got off the couch this summer and had the most memorable summer of my life. And here's how I did it. It all starts with expectation. Have an expectation of what you want your life to look like. If your expectation is low, lift it higher. If you are not surrounded by people with high expectations for your life, find other people that do have high expectations for their lives. Expect more from your life than just your average. Once you have a solid understanding of what your expectations will look like, think of what you can do to lift it. Do you want more friends? Take the initiative to make a conversation with a stranger. Take the initiative to ask out a friend to lunch so you can get to know them on a deeper level. Take the initiative to invite people into your lives. Want deeper relationships? Be real. Be completely open and honest and true to yourself because that also attracts the same kinds of people. People just want to find a place where they can be real in this world, where they can kick off their shoes and relax in another person's presence. Want to create adventures? Just do it. Create some time around your busy schedule and just go for it. Bring people along. Celebrate them. Don't say the no for yourself anymore or for others. I would sit at home by myself every other summer because I just let myself say no to too much. Being an anxiety-ridden person innately, I guess listening to something like this would seem impossible. I would literally sit at home and skip out on life because I was too anxious and didn't want to take the initiative to do something about it. But all these beautiful things that have happened in my life, they happen at the edge of your comfort zone. Life happens at the edge of your comfort zone. I literally still to this day have to fight every single day to be able to say yes to things. It might have now come out of habit, out of faking it till I make it, through the continuous grace I'm so graciously given every day by loving God to live this life. But oh my goodness, am I so grateful that I have that because if it wouldn't be for that, I wouldn't have had the best summer of my life. I was doing something in between when I was having all these amazing adventures, spent the majority of my summer here, and well, that's just the face of a girl who looks like she's absolutely loving it.